Our solar system houses many bizarre and unique worlds very foreign or alien from our home planet Earth. In this video, we're going to take a look at nine of those bizarre worlds and some of the science behind what makes them unique. So let's talk about that. To get to the first object on this list, we have to go out to Saturn. One of its moons is named Mimas. Now I know what you might be thinking, that's no moon. It's a space station. But sorry Obi-Wan, in this case, it's actually a moon. It has a diameter of roughly 400 kilometers, and the part of it that looks like the Death Star from Star Wars is a massive crater basin that takes up roughly a third of the diameter of the moon itself. Another fun fact about Mimas is that it's actually the smallest ellipsoidal astronomical object in our solar system. Now, what that means is when something is large and has a strong enough gravity, it tends to form more like a sphere, like Earth or Mars or Jupiter or the Sun. But Mimas is actually just at the edge where if it was any smaller, it would more be like an asteroid or a lumpy shape. Now, speaking of which, we can go to our next interesting object, Hyperion which is still a moon around Saturn. Now this is actually slightly smaller than Mimas, and because of it, it is no longer spherical. In fact, by taking a look, we could see it looks more like a giant potato or maybe a sea sponge. But one of the interesting facts about it is that it has this weird porous-like nature. Another bizarre fact about Hyperion is that it actually spins chaotically somewhat out of control. It kind of wobbles its way along its orbit. Now an interesting fact is that some scientists believe that Hyperion is actually a remnant of a past collision tens or hundreds of millions of years ago. But making our way towards our next bizarre object, we're still staying around Saturn. Saturn has a lot of moons, so quite a few of them are going to be interesting. This one is named Pan. Now it actually looks like a flying saucer or UFO, which definitely makes it really interesting. But it's incredibly small at only around 35 kilometers in diameter. And another even more interesting fact about its shape is where it is located. It is actually within Saturn's rings and is called a ring shepherd. Its gravitational influence on the particles within the rings help form this gap within Saturn's ring, which allows it to have some of its structure, which is pretty interesting that a moon is able to exist there and kind of pave the way for its orbit. So the next object is going to be much closer to home near Earth. Now this is actually an asteroid that made a close encounter in the year 2015. And the name of this asteroid is 2015 TB145. It's not as exciting as some of the moons, but it's still pretty interesting. But when it made its flyby on Halloween day, astronomers were able to take images of this asteroid. And this is what came back. It's somewhat bizarre that the asteroid that flew by closest to the Earth on Halloween day just so happens to look like a giant skull. But it's a pretty funny coincidence that it just so happened to pass closest to Earth on Halloween. Now its size is around 650 meters, so it's not too incredibly large, but definitely much larger than a human skull. Maybe it's an alien, or maybe it's just our mind playing tricks on us. But speaking of aliens, let's make our way to the next object, the fifth bizarre object in our list. This being Oumuamua. Now some of you might be familiar with that name and some of you may have never heard of it before. But Oumuamua actually kind of falls in the solar system category, but only temporarily. Because it's an interstellar object, it's only flying by our solar system and will continue to depart as the years to come. But what makes Oumuamua interesting is its bizarre shape. There are many different calculations trying to determine the exact shape of this object, but it's incredibly long and thin, ranging anywhere from 100 meters long to nearly 1,000 meters long. But one of the reasons why Oumuamua got a lot of attention after it flew by the sun is because it slightly changed its trajectory. Now this has been known to happen for different outgassing events or if certain kinds of gas are released from an asteroid or an object, then it can slightly change the path that it goes. Um, but it wasn't necessarily observed so much. Therefore, there are many scientists and speculations as to what this object could have actually been. But it is a bizarre shape, so I thought I would include it in this video.
So making our way to the sixth object, we're going to be looking at Comet 67P. This was the destination for the European Space Agency's Rosetta mission. Now this comet, which essentially on arrival looks like a rubber duck, is actually a comet that came from the Kuiper Belt and is now within the inner parts of our solar system. So it helps us understand some of the outer reaches of what the solar system is like. But there were many interesting findings from this mission as the Rosetta spacecraft got closer and incredible visuals including this one that appears to look like a cliffside but is actually the motion of the comet moving with the starry background moving behind it. So it's pretty fascinating what was taken in terms of the visuals from this mission. And that's one of the reasons why this has such a bizarre shape and a notable shape because it is well studied. I imagine as we explore more destinations in the future, we'll just get more and more interesting worlds to explore. For our next bizarre object, let's make our way back to Saturn, looking at the moon Lyapetus. But before I show you an image, we need to talk about the history. In 1671, the astronomer Cassini detected this moon with his telescope. At the time, he noticed something relatively interesting. When it was on one side of Saturn, he wasn't able to see it. But when it was on the other, it was pretty bright and he could detect the moon. So he estimated that one side of the moon might be incredibly dark and dull and the other side would be very bright and vibrant. And what turns out as we skip ahead a few hundred years is that is exactly the case. As we sent missions to Saturn, we were able to get images of this moon and this is what it looks like. We could see that one side of the moon is incredibly bright, having an icy-like surface or reflection, whereas the other is much more dull and dark. And these are still both fully emitted or in full sunlight. Therefore, it's not like the shadow that's causing this, but it's actually the surface of the moon itself. Now, there are several different ideas as to why this is the case. Some think that it's actually the accretion of another moon, an outermost moon, that is making one side of Lyapetus darker than the other. Others believe that it has to do with the heat on the planet already, that since part of it is so dark, it's going to remain to be warmer and hotter and melt the surrounding ice, whereas the other region is already light enough that it's able to freeze the area. And even further, there are other explanations or ideas as to why this is the case. But it is definitely a bizarre object in our solar system, and I thought I would include it for this video. The next object in this list is the asteroid Cleopatra. Now this looks like a dog bone. It's almost 270 kilometers long and roughly 60 kilometers wide, and has this very bizarre-like shape. And it spins much like it would if you were to throw a stick through the air, just going end over end. Now a fun fact about this asteroid is that if it actually spun slightly faster, then it would tear the asteroid apart and form two different asteroids in a binary system, and they would orbit each other, which is really fascinating. So for the last object in this list, we're going to be looking at the Sun. Now the Sun doesn't necessarily have a very bizarre or weird shape when we consider it to some of these asteroids, but what makes it interesting is that according to astronomers, it is the most spherical astronomical object in our solar system. Even considering other planets, moons, or asteroids, it does hold the closest to a true sphere. So that's a fun fact to consider whenever you think about the Sun. If you have any questions about any of these objects that I talked about in this video, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to this channel. But with all that being said, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.